Well, um, along those lines, and we're talking politics now, uh, there's some potential legislation that's being proposed that um, talks about and addresses the whole, uh, you know, pregnancy out of wedlock issue it's, it's a big concern nowadays mm -hmm. you know 40% uh, in 2008 40% of the uh, childs that were born were done out of wedlock so you have the potential of 40% of the males associated with that not necessarily assuming their financial obligation and duty mm -hmm. um, along those lines there's been uh, you know, so, some suggestions of legisl legislation to be proposed that basically says, you know, we're going to jump ahead on this. Um, if you are the working age, mm -hmm. you know, which assumes a certain level of maturity in adulthood, uh, be it male or female, we're going to start taxing you. We're going to uh, take a, 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 a portion or I would say a dividend from your check, let's just say um, $5 a pay period, you know, for for guys or rather for women 10 for Wait, men this is, this is for everybody this is for everybody once you become only, a working only only those that have a child out of wedlock uh well you know it it's the it's the whole concept of you want to prepare for it in case it happens right just in case it happens mm -hmm. so the same way you look at insurance right and um <laughs> When you think about it, right, you, you, you pay for insurance so that you can drive safely. It's not so that you do go and have an accident, but you want to prepare for such a case. And then you have everyone that buys into this opportunity. You then now have uh, this new legislation, if uh, submitted, proposed, and, and, and implemented, right? Now you're now paying into this insurance or in-case situation. What's your thoughts on that? If I'm, if I'm understanding correct, right? Go right on the head. I'm, I'm able, I'm legal, I can work. You can work. As soon as I'm able to work yes. and make a paycheck. Right. Where are the I'm assumption be, you are able to conceive a child? And, okay, so I'm working and I can conceive. Right. And before I even conceive, right. I'm before being taxed. You, that's correct. For something that might not happen. Uh, that's correct, but it's in preparation. I'm sorry? Toward me, I might not have a child. That is a potential. But I'm still being taxed. That is a potential. Yes. No, that's no, that's twisted. What's wrong with that? What if I already decided that I don't want any children? That I know it's not going down. Mm hmm But why am I being taxed? Well, we're in prevention, just in case you still, you know, anyone would want to uh, get involved with promiscuity, right? They still want to have sex. They may not want to have a child, but okay. they still want to. Uh, engage in intercourse. This so is that protection that's needed. I'm being taxed to have sex? Not just you, it's everyone. Everybody's being taxed to have everyone. sex. Everyone, absolutely. Nah, man. So, you don't think that's a good idea? Mm -mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Not. So you're basically paying, what you said, they taxing you $5 out of your check. Sure. I'm paying $5 out of a mm -hmm. pay period. Sure. So I can lay down, uh, you know, so it's it's Absolutely it's not. in the, it's in the comfort of being able to, um, you know, you, you understand that now that all of these these potential this forty percent that we are dealing with, they now have to have, uh, you know, benefits and coverage for them. So we're pro, you know, there's a thought of proactively looking into that, but and seeing how that would uh, possibly work. Do you think it'll work? I'm gonna say no mm -hmm. because what if all these these people aren't working? How would those ch children get taken care of? I guess the mom dukes, because that, that's basically how it is now. Mm -hmm. You have so many single family homes, you know, daddy somewhere mm -hmm. doing his thing, mm -hmm. and you know, mother's holding it down. That's mm -hmm. not right. Right. But I don't think. So, how do we hold daddy accountable? It was behind the court, I guess. I, <laughs> I don't know, but well, you can't tax everybody because mm -hmm. one guy is not taking care of his, his family. Well, tax may be the wrong word, but or once again, you know, yeah. you, you, you're looking at the whole concept in a proactive fashion, right? Because yeah. the, the, the current situation is such that um, if anything happens, uh, yes, you do take it to court. And then, yes, you file all of the paperwork associated 
with it to get um, you know them to be accountable. This is just something around you know possibly doing it another way. This was something that was uh, was brought up, so I'm just throwing it out there to get your opinion. I right? so. I think I think that it's a little strange for somebody to want to tax everybody mm -hmm. for something that one individual uh, might do. Mm -hmm. For example, I go and I have me a child. I lay down, have a child, and you're being taxed because mm -hmm. I'm not taking care of my kid. Right. Well, let's let's pull the word tax out of it. Like oh, I said, I'm if being... you think about it, almost like I said, like in, in insurance. Uh oh, Pierre, yeah, you sound like you want to get in there and ask a question. Well, I have a couple of questions. Oh, okay. My, man, come on in, man. It's not like you, I see you over there raising your hand, so you come on in here. I'm sorry for disturbing your brunch, gentlemen. Pierre is back. Yeah. Um, what, First what of all, I'm sorry, to, just to even say, I, I want to thank you, uh, Justin, for being here. And this is pretty interesting because we're getting the viewpoint of, you know, our, the our peers our, from, well, like, well, you know, not, not, from not, a 20 year old range. Not, so, not so much up here, but mm -hmm. this is, if anything, the demographic that will probably be the most impacted. Mm -hmm. That is the young male. Okay, the young male in their early 20s. But what exactly are you not clear, are you not clear on? I mean, I want to I want to walk you through it, and as Russell mentioned, it's proposed legislation, and to tell you the truth, we're the ones that's proposing it. So. Exactly. <laughs> that's, 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 that's how it's going. That's, that's how it's going down. That's how it's going down. Okay. So, well, like Russell said, last year, forty percent of all childbirth were to uh, unwedded mothers. Okay. Okay. And again, as Russell mentioned, that means. All these men that had these children can just go off their merry way. Potential. Scott free potential. Potential. Okay? And last year I think was also a record breaking year as far as the number of our childbirth. So who's gonna take care of these kids? How, how how do you envision these kids being taken care of? Is the business as usual? Mom um, struggles too. It's sad to say, but that's that's what it is. But it's, I mean, it's that's what it is. But is that is that how you think it should remain? No. 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 Okay. Know. If you had to construct a solution, mm -hmm. what would you propose? I propose that. I guess I would need some time to think about that. But okay. I'm gonna just See, freestyle. The thing is, it will, so okay. if all right, forty percent. They're not married. They just had kids. These guys left. You know, they they have something now. It's, you know, child support. This cat is working. They take money out of his check. That's yeah, it. but see, the thing about child support is, you figure number one, there's the whole legislation battle mm -hmm. of uh, proving that number one, he's the father. Okay, do that. Okay. You but but in the meantime, the kid is alive. Who's taking care? Of kid? Who's paying into, you know, the, the welfare of this kid? That's a good the, 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 the proposal here is, and again, Russell fleshed it out a little bit. Mm. We want to be proactive in the sense that let's set this pay to play fund. That's what it is. It's a pay to play yeah, fund. That's what it is. Okay, let's set this fund aside. Mm -hmm. Okay, and mind you, both men and women of legal working age are being are contributing to this fund. So it's not just males. It's not no. just the males. The, so, the, okay. The, okay, but a couple of things. Number one, the men will be t will have will be required to contribute more than the women. <laughs> Why? Why? Because you can walk away and she can. She cannot. I just took the side of a woman. I don't believe I did that. I think you did. I did. Yeah. But it's okay. But it's okay. It's all right. I'm, I'm growing up now. But <laughs> with all but with all kidding aside, think about it. Um, you know, once the mother announces, the mother to be announces that she's pregnant here, well, yeah, that she that she's pregnant. You can walk away from that child. She really can't. 